one, hot two, hot three, hot four. Sir, would you hike the ball already? All right, no problem, Mike. No problem. Would you hike the ball? Would you hike it? <laughs> I don't know why you won't go out for one lousy pass. Oh, it's because I'm having more fun watching you, Mike. <laughs> well, I would, but I need my fortissimo. I'm training this afternoon. Besides, when Italians play football, they play soccer. Men, I know I can't meet your salary demands, and I know I reneged on your no-cut contracts, but this is it. There's no tomorrow. All right, coach. Take it, Cyril. Okay, okay. <laughs> bravo! Bravo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you go out for the pass already? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he can't throw it that far. What? <laughs> Stop! That's it! That's it! No more football with rejects! I was a first-string quarterback. I don't need this. All right. Name me a guy in the house with an arm like that. Yeah, but he's a cutter. Doesn't matter. It's an open tournament. No one will know. Steve, no cutter would ever play on a frat team. Oh, no? Look, it's not that I'm uncoordinated. It's just that I couldn't bring myself to catch the ball. Sir, so, I don't know how to break this to you. But it's because you're uncoordinated. Hey, quiet. These guys don't think I could be a contender. You got any offers in your house yet, Mooch? No, but this real estate agent's supposed to come and take a look. Great. Yeah, my dad could use the money. So come on, let's go get something to eat, huh? I got a train, Mike. What? Yeah, I can't go either. I got to stick around the house and wait for some real estate agent to come over. So, <laughs> see ya. See you tonight at the movies. Yeah. Hello, Mooch. Poor guy. His father moves to Chicago and expects him to unload that old place. Come on, Cyril. Well, actually, I thought I'd go over to the college and look at the job board. The college job board? Great. I'm going to go eat by myself. <laughs> He's in a terrific mood. <laughs> I've never been to the university employment office. They got a lot of jobs there? Well, I don't go there for that. I go there to keep things in perspective. You know, if my dad comes home a little down in the dumps, I, I tell him about the starting salaries of all the jobs I'll never be qualified for, and it makes him feel better. Come on, I'll give you a ride over to the university. <laughs> Davey, my boy, this university could have been yours. Ivy-covered buildings, essays on Shakespeare, beautiful co-eds and tight-fitting sweaters. I mean, you were accepted here. Don't you ever think about going? See you at the movies tonight, Cyril. Me by name. Since I saw you throw four touchdown passes against Washington High last year. Yeah? You were there, huh? Yep. Hi, Steve. Liza. What a surprise. Have a seat. Do you know Mike? No. No. Oh. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. I'm going to your game today. Oh, no. Don't bother. We're probably going to get knocked out of the first round of our school's tournament. I'm telling you, we just can't find a decent quarterback. Who's your quarterback? Me. <laughs> Be a different story if we had Mike here calling signals for us. Yeah, I'd love to see him play. Well, even if you lose, I'll be out there cheering for you. Hope I see you again, Mike. Yeah.
It's her story. She is nuts about football players. Oh, hey, man. Kickoff's in an hour. I got to split two. Hmm? See you later, Mike, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, C. Wait a minute. myself. Trouble is there's not enough time. Well, maybe you want to have Dave come down to the car lot a couple times a week. Dave? Dave? Why would I want Dave to work at the car lot? Why? Well, he is your son, you know. You keep telling me that, Evelyn. If he's my son, why is he so lazy? He's not lazy. He's just confused. Confused about what? About being lazy? All through high school, he said he wanted to go to college. Then he graduated, and he doesn't want to go to college. Well, that's what I mean. He's just confused. He's not confused. I'm confused. How can $96.34 vanish into thin air? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, um, let's look at this debit for me again. Hey, pardon. Yeah, you. Oh, Mr. Cinzano. Hey, what's the matter with you? Move to the bicicletta, huh? Are you Italiano? No, I'm from New York. What's your excuse? Look, you and your rig are blocking the road here, pal. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just watching the football game there. That's what Indiana needs, more fraternity boys. No, no, no. Uh, wait, I'm... Uh... Take care of yourself, Paisan. <laughs> Hey, man, I couldn't have done it without your blocking, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hey, right? Here's the picture, huh? Only the first. All right. Hey, Dave. Hey, man, I'm playing ball again. Yeah, so I noticed. They practically begged me to join the team. Mike, I, I can't believe it. You were terrific. Oh, uh, uh, what? You're terrific. I still can't believe this. What are you doing? I, I mean, you're out here on this campus playing with these... Hey, look, Dave, um, I got to go over to the frat house to work on a Mars game plan. I'll see you, okay? What time are we leaving for the movies tonight? Well, um, maybe I should just meet you there, okay? Right. Hey, Well, I'm 
sure it'll turn up. Money doesn't turn up, Evelyn. Someone has to find it first. <sighs> um, Dave, did you see your father's pocket calculator? Sorry, Mom. Oh, gee. First he can't find his money, now he can't find his pocket calculator. What? Oh, nothing, nothing. Doesn't matter. Um, oh. what is that? Did, did you get a letter? Well, this is a letter from the university. Oh, I, I haven't heard you uh, talk about the university lately. Well, there's really not been much to talk about. Oh, and now? Well, I don't know. You know, I, I've had some time on my own, and... Well, Mike's got some new friends, and Butcher's trying to sell his house, and Cyril's looking for a job. Just had some time to think. Uh, come to any decisions? Only that I have to make a decision. Mm. rushed over the psychology department. They need 500 guinea pigs. I don't know. Don't worry, they're not going to dissect this. And even if they do, it's 10 bucks an hour. No, I can't go anywhere. Actually, I was thinking of going over to the university myself tomorrow. It's a class I want to sit in on. They let you do that? Yeah, it's called auditing. Uh, the name of the course is Personality and Social Structure. It sounds real interesting. Hey. Hey, guys. Hi. How you doing? OK. Can we butt in? Sure. Yeah. How is the real estate agent? Oh, she thinks she can sell the house. <laughs> Great. I don't know, because uh, the roof's leaking and the boiler's out. She'll sell it. Where's Mike? I don't know. Uh, why don't you guys go in and save us some seats and we'll meet you in there. Save them? Yeah. Okay. I'll wait out here with you. Oh, here he is now. Dave. Hey. He's with a co-ed. Mike scored a co-ed. Let, let's go inside, Cyril. Do I have to? Come on. Cyril. Cyril. Dave, I gotta talk to him. I mean, he's with a co-ed. And co-eds tend to know other co-eds who know even more co-eds. I mean, all these co-eds are connected. You meet one, you meet them all. Do what you want to do. I'm going inside. Oh, bless you, Buana. Bless you. Come on, Mike. Would you relax? Two buttered popcorns and a couple of coals. Now, what do you want to know? What do you think? Give me a break. All right, all right, all right. Uh, how'd you get her to go out with you? I didn't get her to go out with me. She wanted to go out with me. Well, what'd you say to her? I said hi. Hi, huh? Must have been the way you said it. Oh, what do you want to know? I want to know why he stood us up, Mike. They wanted to go to the movies. You would have done the same thing. I don't think so. Came to see if you needed some help. No, oh, everything's under control. Two dollars, please. Oh, Liza, uh, I'd like you to meet a couple of old friends. This is Dave, and this is... Hi. Uh, Cyril. She's incredible. She's okay. Okay. Hey, look. I'm playing football tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Come and watch. I'll introduce you to some of the guys. Guys? Who wants to meet the guys? <laughs> I'm going to class. Which one? I... Oh, yeah, I hear that's a great class. Professor Manchester's class. Yeah? I've never seen you in that class before. Ah, oh, but then I keep forgetting that frat jocks don't come to class very often. And when they do, they forget to bring a pen or a notepad. Yes. <laughs> Hi. You all 
all ready for Mr. and Mrs. Seifert? I swept up last night. Oh, good. And, uh, Lucha, if the Seifert should ask any questions, direct them over to me. Oh, okay. You do know about the roof. I mean, it's early. Oh, and these must be put away quickly. Well, it isn't my favorite people. Oh. <laughs> And it depends how well I know the guy. Oh, about college. Oh, um. Well, what about it? It's a boring waste of time. Then what are you doing here? I have to be here. See, I happen to be brilliant. I really am. I have a 159 IQ. 162 with my shoes on. I speak four languages fluently, five in a pinch, and uh, my best friend in high school was a Petri dish. Anyway. My parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ph.D., thought that I had a moral obligation to cultivate my nasty little mind. In fact, it's my body that needs harvesting. Time is running out on the American dream, my young friends, and your generation had better lower its expectations and hope, pray, that your country won't go bankrupt by the year 1999. What do you think it looks like? It looks like an early morning mist blanketing a cool mountain lake. Yeah, I can see that. What did you put? Oh, I put it looks like a big blue glob. Hey, I wasn't copying. Yes, time is running out on the American dream. But at least you seem to be children of privilege. But what about the children of, let us say, the Bloomington quarry workers? What is it you uh, call them? Um, cutters. <laughs> Those kids have the idea that there's still time to get a piece of the pie. Nobody's told them that the pie's been cut into, doled out, heavily taxed. Nobody's bothered to tell them that time is running out on the American dream. Red X, set, blue X, hot one, hot two, hot three. College. I'll just be glad you didn't take that psychology test. How did it go? Well, mine sort of got invalidated. In order to get paid, you had to show your college reg card, and <laughs> they told me I could complain to the head of the department. Did you? I don't think it would do any good, do you? No. Pie's already been cut up, Cyril. I spent a whole hour looking at those dumb slides. 
Huh. At least my dad will be proud of me. You know, college has got to be about the most depressing place in the world. Mm. <laughs> uh, where'd you come up with that play down in the third quarter? Oh, well, see, I knew if I faked right in the lateral left, we'd get the first down. Yeah, I know. I caught it. Hey, it was a great catch. I'll see you back at the house. Yeah, great. We'll get a couple of rounds of pool in, huh? Hey. <laughs> All right, Mike. Look, Mike. Hey, Danny. You get the table ready, huh? Right. I'll go with you. Here, Mike. Hey, I'll pick you up at eight. Has gotta stop. Liza. I don't want to spend another minute of my life with Michael Carnahan. He's winning games for us, Liza. Just a couple of more days, huh? And then it's bye-bye Cutter. Dave. What's with the muffins? Are they natural? You know I hate natural. He hasn't been himself for the last three days. He doesn't smile, he doesn't talk, he doesn't even ride his bike very much. He doesn't sing along with the damn operas. Look for the good of them. Maybe, um, maybe you uh, could talk to him, Ray. I can't talk to him. What am I supposed to tell him? Well, uh, you could tell him that, um, I'm in the kitchen, making French toast and bacon. Are you still in bed? Your breakfast will get cold. Come on. Papa, what do you think of the American dream? I run a business. So I don't have time to dream. Come on. Oh, wait. If a person really wants to get ahead, he still can, can he? Yeah. I guess so, if he figures out what he wants to do with his life. Well, that's it, isn't it? Figuring out what you're supposed to do. I bet a lot of people get sidetracked. I mean, like going to college. Not everybody's supposed to go to college, are they, Papa? Well, I don't know. I never went to college. And you have what you want? A house, a family, a business? I guess. It's time I figured out how to get my piece of the pie, isn't it, Papa? What pie? Your mother's frying bacon. Come on, will you? Wait, I've been thinking about this a lot. I thought a lot about it. I think it's time. I came to work for you. For me? Work for me? At the lot? Yeah, yeah. We, we could change the name. Stoller and Son. Change the name? At the lot? At the car lot? Evelyn! Evelyn! What's so crazy about wanting to work for you? I mean, you built your business up from nothing. I just want to help it grow and get my piece of the pie. There he goes, talking about pies again. Working for your father is a very big decision, Dave. I know. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Ray. I'll handle this, Evelyn. Being in business is no fun. Come and work for me, and you'll never have any more fun. Ray. There'll be no time for riding, no time for swimming, no time for bumming around with your friends, no time for nothing, because you'll be working every day, really working, and Sundays too. Ray. Now, if that's what you want, if that's what you really want, get up from the table right now. Go down to the car lot and wash every car on the premises. You could have said something, Evelyn.
What next? Hmm? Oh, all right, Dave. Go ahead, Dave. That's all right. Ruin my concentration. Now, what if I was just about to discover what happened to my $96.34 that's been driving me crazy? It's all right. What is it? The cars are clean. Clean, huh? You call that clean? I want my cars immaculate, you hear? Immaculate. Give me that Chevy. Will you please get out of my way? Please? I'm busy. Well, it's your balance sheet. Everything adds up. The $96 was here the whole time. What do you want me to do now? You want me to tell you? What is that you're playing? Um, the Michael Carnahan Blues. You remember him, Michael Carnahan? He's kind of a tall guy, rides in a car. <laughs> I believe that guy. Pretty soon he'll be calling us cutters. Mm. I gotta go at the door. Mm. <clears throat> oh, hi. Hi. Uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, could we come in? Uh, guess. Where's Miss Douglas? Well, we decided to come by and take another look for ourselves. And ask a few questions. Ask a few questions? Yeah, Mrs. Douglas told us about the new roof. The new roof? Yeah, how new is it? The roof? Um, uh, well, it's kind of, uh... Oh, honey, you ought to ask him about the boiler, too. Yeah. Oh, we love the house, though. Well, the boiler's kind of like the roof. Uh... She did tell you about the floor in the basement. What basement? Uh, I think we better start from the roof and work our way down. Hey. I'm used to working alone. You want me to go outside, Pop? I want... I want you to take the rest of the afternoon off. Please. Please? But this is where I'm supposed to be. This is my piece of the pie. Will you stop with this pie business already? This is not your piece of the pie. This is your nothing. You want a piece of the pie? Look somewhere else. Papa, I don't understand. Dave, I don't know where you get your ideas from. When the quarry shut down, I, I grabbed the first thing I saw. This was it. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. I want it better for you. What am I supposed to do? How should I know? Go swimming, go to college, do what you want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Then decide. Don't decide on this. Excuse me. Are you taking a test? Young man, where are you going? I was just on my way out. Finish with your exam that quickly? No. I... What's your name, young man? Dave Stoller. 
This is your midterm exam, Mr. Stoller. Good luck. Sir, take your seat, Mr. Stoller. Mr. Mr. Stoller, take your seat. Sir, I'm only lying. Midterm, Mr. Stoller. Okay. You don't want to sell this house, do you? Well, yeah, I do. You told them about the roof, the boiler, the floor. Well, they asked me. They were ready to sign the papers. You could have been in escrow. Look. You don't want to sell this house, do you? Yes, I want to sell this house. I just don't want you to sell it for me. Thank you very much. Turned out to be a nice night. Father told me what happened. <laughs> not working with him is not the end of the world, you know. I just don't know what I want to do, Mom. Well, it's always college. I've been there. It's like being in a foreign country. <laughs> it couldn't be that bad. It is, Mama. It is. says Omega News is going to win the final game today, and I'll be glad when it's over, because Mike is driving me crazy. It's not just me, either. He gets on everyone's nerves. He sounds pathetic. He is. He's a townie. <laughs> Where's the victory celebration going to be? Hey, let's first win the championship, then we can talk about partying. Sure. Well, look, I thought on the first few downs, Mike. we set up a short... Mike! Hey, Moocher, long time no see. Yeah, I got to talk to you. Come on with me, in private. I just talked to Nancy on the phone. So? These guys are playing you for a chump. Oh, unbelievable. I get tight with a new look, circle I'm of friends. I'm telling you uh, that... Mike. You coming? Yeah. Hey, I know just what you're doing. I think it stinks. You think I'm just gonna sit around for it? Why don't you buzz off, Shorty? Come on! 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 Come all right, get out of here, all of you. Get out. Come on. All right, Don't come to Listen, I, I don't belong to any fraternity. In fact, I don't even belong on this campus. 
you dropped out? Just forget it. Forget what? I just asked you if you dropped out. Actually, I was thinking of dropping in after sitting in on Professor Manchester's class. Well, you really got to, huh? Look, Chuck Manchester is not the end-all and the be-all. Well, that's easy for you to say. Look, if you want to go to college, go to college. I don't know what I want. Hey, students aren't expected to know what they want, what they want to do, what they want to be. That's why they become students. Have an identity crisis while they're still young. You know what you want to be, don't you? Yes, but I'm exceptional. What? Doctor, lawyer? Uh, <laughs> let's just drop it, okay? No, no. I, I would like to know what you would like to be. A stand-up comedian. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, God! You're kidding! No, oh, I'm not. I want to be a stand-up comedian. And I'm going to be a good stand-up comedian. But Nancy... Are you sure you're all right? Mm-hmm. But it stings, doesn't it? Yeah, it stings a little bit. It's okay. It's not okay. I'm going to go to the football game. Do not go to the football game. I'm going there, and I'm going to tell my those frat guys are using me. Would you just please? I'm going, Moocher. Nancy? Goodbye. Nancy! Championship, man. If you're on, we win. If you're off, we lose. Do it for life. All right. Ready, Joe? Oh, coming right up, Professor Manchester. Aren't you Dave Stoller? Yes, sir. I read your test. I don't know what to tell you. See, you can't get credit unless you straighten things out with the registrar's office. <laughs> According to the computer, you're not even enrolled in the class. Well, I think I should tell you that I'm... Except your burgers, fries, ketchup, and rush. Professor Manchester, I think I, I should... I'll tell you what, if you run into any flack with the registrar's office, have them call me. May I sit down? It seems a shame to write an essay like that and not receive a grade. You graded my paper? Yeah, it comes with a job. You have a nice, refreshing point of view. Because it would have been better if you'd read some of the assignments. But you supported your ideas. And you saw through all that cynical garbage about the end of the American dream. I like that. If you get some free time, stop by my office. I'd, I'd love to discuss your approach to things. You would? Yeah, I would. You seem to be able to sling the bull as well as I do. Bye-bye. Come on, let's jam. Oh, right! One quarter left! 
And what'd you do that for? Why did you let those guys speed up on Moocher? I didn't let him. I tried to break it up. And you just left him there. Hey, let me tell you something. No, Mike. Let me tell you something. Something I heard at the beauty parlor. Dave, I really appreciate this. Cyril? Honest, I do. Cyril, but... listen to me. It doesn't matter that you don't have a reg card or that you don't go to college. You spend an hour of your time taking their test, and they owe you $10. Could we settle maybe for three fifty? dollars Why are you scared to stand up for your rights? They're not any better than us. They're any different from us. What are you going to do? Hey, Mike. Come on. All right, listen up, guys. It's last quarter. We got a big lead. All we got to do is sit on it, right? Right. 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 Whatever you say. All right. 88, double zipper on two. Ready? Hey! I think I'm going to tell my dad about this. No use jeopardizing our relationship. <laughs> you know, at first it didn't even bother me about not getting paid, but... I know. I know. Okay. This time we'll get it together, right, Mike? Whatever you say. One, two! <laughs> So just hand the ball off to me and I'll run it, okay? Whatever you say. I'm not getting clean snaps. Let me bring in my center. Cyril! He's great. Cyril! He's really great. He's got a style all his own. Come on! Come on, the clock's running out. He wants me? That's what it sounds like. I think he knows what he's doing. Go on, Steele. You'll be a hero. A hero, huh? All right, men. We're back in business. 23, blue X, hike the ball on three. Ready! Ready! on the bar.
got no class. Yeah, I know. But I was born that way. You? You're a self-made man. Say, has anyone ever told you you look really sexy when you flare your nostrils? Don't you dare talk to me. Look, I don't know how to break this to you. But I have a feeling we're not going to be seeing too much of each other anymore. quarterback, you know? Yeah. Well, you really ought to tell him. So what you been up to the last couple of days? Not too much. Kind of checking out frat guys. Man, let me tell you. I know where the college scene is at. I'll tell you about it sometime. Thanks, Mike. Hey, Paulina! Hey, look, take the bike over to Moochers. I'll meet you there in a bit, okay? Hey, Paisan. <laughs> Man, can you believe that guy? Runs out on his friends because of some girl? Despicable. <laughs> <laughs> love that starts in innocence is spoiled by passion. An ambitious orphan challenges his destiny when desire for a young heiress doesn't end with adulthood. Diana, next.